optical light shaping devices. Non-spherical wide angle attachment. Cameramen have often used aspherical wide angle attachments in the front of their zoom lenses in order to be able to widen the angle of their zoom and still be able to change the focal length of their zoom. With lighting instruments, this function is not commonly known. We have non-spherical wide-angle attachments for practically all of our lights, widening the angle of exit up to 90 degree, still offering perfectly smooth and even light distribution edge to edge and equally perfect color distribution edge to edge, still allowing you to focus the light and change the exit angle and change the size of the lit area. All of these non-spherical wide-angle attachments are also equipped with our unique and patented rotating barn door leaves. Now, these non-spherical wide-angle attachments are available in three different sizes to fit the majority of our light fixtures. Another very useful light shaping device is our directional beam spreader. This in itself is not a totally new idea. Other methods have been used previously. Among those, the so-called brushed silk gel, which is a piece of plastic that looks like somebody went over it with a steel brush going in one direction only. This gel was and is used to spread the light in one direction, 90 degree from the direction of the embedded lines on the plastic. Our directional beam spreader works in a similar way, but differs by not causing a lot of diffusion. Therefore, this is a much clearer, cleaner and more defined effect. This can be used on a single light source to spread the light in any desired direction. You can rotate it. It can also be used on several lights placed side by side in a similar focus position preferably near the spot position. Now when the directional beam spreaders are all inserted in the same angle, this will perform a totally homogeneous river of light with identical intensity, identical color, without causing any unwanted extra diffusion. Of course, additional diffusion can easily be added by any of the known diffusion gels. But there's not a single gel to clean up the beam, to clean up such an effect. That is why this is an absolutely unique tool, and if needed, it can be a very useful and practical tool, easy to use. To give you an example, in green screen studios, usually the lighting directors are shy to use backlights because they are afraid of shadows in the action area. Placing two rows of five dado lights, possibly LED bicolor dado lights, equipped with these directional beam spreaders, it will be extremely easy to use your control board to decide whether you want more backlight from the left rear or the right rear. If the purpose is to make a close-up look a little bit more reasonable. In that case, you don't have to see the shoes of your talent, and therefore you can place this river of light in such a way that if there's any shadow at all, and there'll be very little, from the knee upward or the waist upward, so that any remaining shadows are projected outside the action area, and will never be a hindrance to the chroma key function. If you choose to use bicolor LED lights, you can change the color dominance of your backlight, warmer or cooler, from left or right, simply by the sliders on your control board, without having to get up on a ladder, change filters, or refocus. This should be a wonderful way to help to light people in front of the green desert, 
in such a way that for a change their images look like they have anything to do with the implanted virtual background. All of this may give you a little introduction to some of our thoughts and available tools and instruments and toys for light shaping. I'm Dado.